Hey, Brandon here. I thought I'd do a quick demo of just like the CMS capabilities of WordPress, Wix, and Framer. So I'm going to start with WordPress. So I'm going to just go to the WordPress playground. Uh, I think either of these should work. I'm just going to click that. And let's just try and get like a custom post type added as like a CMS item. That's something that's not a blog post or, you know, not a page, but a custom post type. So it's, um, you know, it doesn't have that in WordPress by default. So I can hit add new plugin. Okay, ACF. Okay, apparently I'm not adding plugins. Um, well, okay, let's move on to Wix then. Wix, uh, I've just this is I just made an account here. Um, so you do have to give them an email to sign in. Uh, but let's see my page here when I'm logged in. Kind of looks like Gutenberg, right? And I've got this uh, this stuff over here. I've got my pages. I've got my global sections. My site styles. And then, oh, there's a CMS item. Okay, so my collections, no more. Okay, start with a preset or, or just start by adding content. Well, let's just start with the preset. Let's see what that does. And here's some presets, portfolio, news, team, projects. Well, let's just, let's start from, start from scratch. Okay, well, now we have create with AI, set up collection fields and add some sample content with the help of AI. Start from scratch. Well, let's, let's just see what the AI feature will do. Okay, so what is the name of our collection? Uh, let's just make it called movies, right? So let's just like add movie fields, like how IMDB has it. Has it. Okay, let's see what that does. All right, so it's thinking. Okay, so it's found the title, genre, release date, rating. Well, that's basically what I wanted. And then it's asking me, do you want to generate sample data? Add five items to your collection. Okay, do it. Okay, so it's added five movies here in a table, right? I, I have my various uh, fields here for the genre, release date, rating, image URL. I can add additional fields, it looks like. So there's some sort of more advanced options down at the bottom, it looks like. Time and date, address, different media options. Well, so so it's got, it's got some options in there. Um, I don't see, like, taxonomies, though. Um... Let me go back to my collections, movies. I add a field. Is there anything I can... Oh, yeah. Okay, so link multiple items in a collection to another collection. Yeah, so that would that would probably be what you want to do for genre. All right, so we would come in here and set up a genre and then connect it to movies. So, you know, you can kind of do bi-directional relationships, it looks like. Let me just get put out of this. Back, cancel, back, cancel. <laughs> I can't get out. I'm stuck. Uh... Okay, save it, and then I'm just going to delete. But yeah, so I mean, I created my CMS items easily there. Um, I like the interface. It's clean, it's snappy. And then at the, at the bottom, it says display connection, collection content on your site by adding a dynamic page. All right, well, let's hit a dynamic page. Do you want to add an item page or a list page? Well, let's add a list. Okay. Okay, so it's it's added it's added my items into the CMS into a grid it looks like. All right, so I can open my layers here and I see a repeater. Okay, that's interesting. So it's just it's pulled that in. There's my movie repeater. I can add other data sets and I can see all the different things that are in my repeater. I got the title, the genre and the button. You can come to the button, you can select where it, where it goes, I guess. Not sure exactly. I don't. I mean, obviously, I don't have any of this set up, but pretty cool that it's that it's that easy to get custom CMS items in and get a grid right right here. Um, now, like, I don't know. I mean, do I want to? I guess you can come in here and style this stuff, right? Um, you know, there's like grid and stuff like that. But anyway, I just wanted to show those uh, CMS items uh, because I think that's pretty interesting that you can just add not just pages but dynamic content directly in the editor. Create your little custom uh, collections, I guess they call them, CMS collections. And pretty interesting that you can just uh, do that right here, pull it right into your page with a repeater, and even add dummy content. So pretty cool. I'm going to jump over now into Framer. I just made an account here as well. Uh, so I have, I think I have a login thing here, yeah. So let me just delete that. Um, and this is like what you'll see when you log into Framer. I have uh, dark mode on. All right, but I've got the little 
tutorial intro here. So I just made this account and you know, I can, it's just a blank canvas right now, but when you click on things, it it's uh, updating like what the context is, right? So like if you, let's just quickly add like a little hero section here. Uh, and so, you know, you can click on each element in here. You can multi-select by holding shift, right? So you can, I can also, I think I can, yeah, click to drag. Uh, so, you know, it's very snappy. Uh, you have sort of all your controls. And if you click on that, you can see it's like, you know, whatever put together. Um, and you could like come down and, you know, probably put, uh, where's my layout. I don't even see layout here. Um, okay. Anyway, I got, I don't know. I haven't really used framer. <laughs> I think I thought you could like group them and then like, sh Oh, shift a, just like in Figma, we'll group them. And then you have, um, I thought you had like layout. Oh, am I crazy? Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's try and get the CMS thing. Let's not get distracted with, uh, with all the other fancy things. Um, but I probably will, you know, just play around in here just to click, just to have, see what it's like. And I don't know, it's just very snappy, right? So I can come in here and add my other breakpoints. Um, see, see all of them at once. You can, you know, zoom in, of course. Uh, zoom in even further, right? So uh, pretty cool. Uh, but what we're here to do is check out the CMS thing. So, you know, you can insert layout, text, and then we want to look at the CMS items. So you can see here, this project doesn't have any CMS items. I can, let's import what I have. So I think you need to make the fields first. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm just gonna hit upload. Select my little sample demo here. And I imported five movies. So I don't need a plugin to, to upload posts like that with custom fields and custom post types. Uh, but I have my five movies, but if I click on them, I don't have any content. I don't have any, all I have is a URL. But if I come back to my CSV, I've got the director, genre, runtime, year, rating, etc. So um, I guess I need to like come back to the import here and I think I need to edit the fields. And right here I only have title, slug, and content. So I think I need to just update these, right? Like I think this would be the plot and then I would do like uh, plain text and I don't see a way to like cross-reference things like, like you can with bidirectional relationships in ACF and in uh, Wix, which is interesting. So I, I, and again, I've literally played with this for a few minutes so just bear with me um but let, let's add the rest of our like i, I don't see um we to add a genre like i'm just adding it as a text field i don't see a way to uh connect items uh together to other items in the cms now it could be because i only have one collection but in any case um okay moving on so we've got the uh plot we've got the year the genre we need a director uh Rector. All right. And what else? Rating? Rating? Okay. That's probably enough. What else? I had runtime. I had runtime. So runtime. Got. It. All right. So there's all my CMS items. And now I can, I believe I can just go back here and import the same file. And because I named them all the same, it should um that one already exists we can say skip item for the slug and yeah that should work no year genre director rating runtime am i crazy uh let's go ahead and delete all of these select all delete and import yeah okay i just maybe needed to import again so there we go. It's imported the year, the genre, the director, the rating, the runtime, and I can see this. Fantastic. So let's go back and um, we can, I don't know, I guess I can try and add it to I've got assets here, layers, pages, insert, insert. Here we go. CMS here is an insert item, content fields or collection list. Let's add a collection list. Okay. And I can probably just drag that in here and on my page, probably want to make this height not fixed, but just uh, fit content. No? Uh, what have I done here? Width, height, oh, uh, let's just do 10,000 pixels. So, looks like I have 
put my CMS items in there. Maybe my header. Oh, my header height is set to that. So let's do fit content. Okay, so now we can see our content. And yeah, so it looks like it's put all my things in a collection list. And, you know, looks like there's some layout things. I can change it into a grid, looks like. So that's cool. Uh, you know, you can do three column grid. Um, so that is pretty nice that it, I didn't have to make a repeater. It just kind of pulled in my data. And then you can just get right, right to styling. So uh, anyway, just thought that was kind of an interesting perspective to have, uh, you know, there's been talk about WordPress and what people are using to actually build. And if the whole platform is just so complex and overly burdened with, uh, with all these, you know, third party plugins. And I don't know, I thought it was interesting to hear people complaining about a lot of this stuff. I mean, WordPress is still a very, very powerful CMS for sure. Uh, but my my impression of things like Framer and things like Wix was that, you know, these were not really professional CMSs that, that they can't and and are not interested in providing the capability to manage dynamic content. And they were really sort of, you know, design tools more than anything. And I think that that's changing. I think that, you know, specifically Wix Studio seems to be interested in uh, improving the workflow for people creating content as well as the people making the sites themselves. So I think the, you know, the d dynamic between editor and developer uh, is an interesting thing that, that these companies seem to be addressing, right? So I like that uh, there's some healthy competition out there and I sincerely hope that uh, WordPress as a CMS gets to the point where we can just kind of point and click and we don't need a bunch of third-party plugins and it's easy to do that that anyone can can feel confident coming in and just saying uh i would like to add a new item i would like to add a blog i would like to import my product data uh, i think that making things easier making things a little more streamlined and improving the ui of it will go a long way into uh, making people feel like there's value in just staying with wordpress so um anyway th that's just a just a quick video and some some kind of random thoughts on it but uh Anyway, all right, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.